greetings from one of the more amazing places we have ever visited, Negril, Jamaica. Wow, this place is cool. And the people, oh, so friendly, so happy, just want to have a great time. We'll let the scenes speak for themselves. Let's just get into it. This is Negril, Jamaica. Skylark Hotel on Seven Mile Beach is the spot. So cool. Mid-century modern. Decorated in that beachy palm vibe. Classic Jamaican style. There's about 40 to 50 rooms, and it is really charming. Wait till you see the view. First thing we recommend is to get out on the Seven Mile Beach and just explore. You will find good things and smiling faces. plenty of spots to stop and take a load off yeah it gets pretty warm out on the beach so feel free to stop in at any one of these spots that might interest you for some shade and a refreshment you know the unexpected is really when the magic happens
Miss Lily's. The hotel restaurant. The ambiance is dance hall. It's a lot of fun. Wow, what a restaurant. That fish sandwich at lunchtime has my heart. The sister hotel to the Skylark is the Rock House. We have a free shuttle back and forth. So we spent the day hanging out cliffside over here. It is so different than the Skylark, but no less chill. This place is amazing as well, and it's a completely different type of vibe. For some peace and serenity then the rock house is your spot it's your own private shangri-la well as you can see the rock house is amazing to be able to stay in one of those cottages right on the cliff would just be awesome really enjoyed it and we would definitely stay here if we had the chance and i do have to say the water temperatures here in jamaica are some of the warmest i've ever felt Chippy, our driver with Dwayne's Taxi and Tours, and he found us this spot that meant a lot to us, Peter Tosh's burial site and estate. <laughs> transportation needs contact Dwayne's taxi and tours ask for shippy
Lloyd's Pelican Bar was a true highlight. It's a feat of Jamaican engineering standing for 20 years, a mile and a half out to sea. Put on your life vests, folks. It gets crazy cool out here. Next stop, Wyas Falls. I had no idea what to expect. I knew it was a waterfall. I figured it was going to be gorgeous. But when we finally got there, I was blown away. It's a beautiful property that you get on a tractor, they drive you through the property up to the falls for about 10 minutes, and it's just the interior of the island is amazing as well. <laughs> considered one of Jamaica's crown jewels. It's a nature lover's paradise. <laughs> trip to Negro is complete without at least one stop at Rick's Cafe. It's the perfect spot for some people watching 
and an amazing sunset. Rick's Cafe is pretty cool, I have to say. You can do anything you want here. You can swim in the ocean, you can jump off the cliffs, you can drink, you can dance, you can eat food, anything you want to do. They even have a pool up at the top. It is so cool. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah